for you. Do you know how much candy your child is drinking? We're talking drinking here. How much candy? That's right. That's because a bottle of juice or juice box or a pouch, <laughs> maybe even chocolate milk, likely has more sugar in it than a candy bar. And joining us this morning to help us understand this better is Dr. Julie Way. She is the author of A Healthier Way. She's also a pediatric ear, nose, and throat specialist at Nemours Children's Hospital. We've had her on before, and she's fabulous. Dr. Yes, Way, great to see it. you. Great Good to too. see you. Coming back again. to visit us. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of fun because you have the drinks here for us you show us how much sugar and then we have to match them up so let's talk about the drinks first of all what do you have for us so today I have six common drinks that our um, children enjoy this is lemonade okay chocolate milk apple juice a sports drink the common pouch drink and sweet tea okay so what well, I think we're gonna have some fun here you have yeah. 15 okay. seconds to okay. match up the sugar equivalent in right, snacks and food are we ready with the clock guys <laughs> Okay, there we go. Here's the clock. Right. Ready? All right, three, two, one. Go. Okay. Um, this has to be. This has no I sugar, think, right? Right, right. Are oh, you gonna move those? Move yeah. Here, move, move the, the food. food. Okay. okay so All right. So we'll move the cupcake. Down to ten seconds, Amy. Um, uh, I'm gonna say. Oh gosh. Okay. I'll say donuts it's with not the Gatorade. Enough time. It's not enough time. I don't know. I think that. I, I think, think the tea has a lot of sugar in it, but maybe okay. the candy bars have more. Okay. okay. So there we go. All right. How do okay. we do? So 15 <laughs> seconds is up. Okay. Time is up. All right. Okay, let's see. How many did we get we right? Uh, let me look at this. You have one correct. Only one? That's terrible. So we eat the okay. winner. Well, let, <laughs> <laughs> that's so one let, way to start. That's a great idea. Hey, all, all right. right. So it's we're going to talk idea. about um, these drinks. The, okay. you, actually, the one you got correct, I'm very impressed. This is lemonade. Many people don't realize it has the same, if not a little more sugar, compared to soda. So this is a sugar equivalent. And if your child drank wow. a bottle. Can you show that to the camera, though? How many because teaspoons of sugar is in this? 17. 17, 17 teaspoons, teaspoons of, sugar. of sugar. So it's like eating two and, and a half bottle. cupcakes. Well, there's Holy that commercial cow. out there right now that says, and it's, it's very effective, you would never give this to your child. If they ask for a snack, you would never give this to them. But if they drink a lemonade, that's exactly what they're taking in. Wow. Exactly. Okay, so for the chocolate milk, there's two servings in this bottle. If they mm -hmm. drink the entire bottle, it would actually be the same two as eating bars. two candy bars. That's Holy right. Holy cow. And then for the very innocent looking 100% apple juice, actually it's the same as eating five of these powdered okay. donuts. See, that one though is a healthy alternative for a lot of parents. They're thinking, I'm giving my kids a juice box. I know, and I just share with families that even if it says 100% juice, that does you still have to be aware of how much sugar. Okay. And so Good if you're advice. drinking multiple a day, wow. you're having right. a lot of those um, powdered donuts. Okay. Um, for sports drinks, which is very popular, it's actually the equivalent <laughs> sugar as in eating nine, eight to nine Oreo cookies in one sitting. If you drink all that, wow. Then three chocolate chip cookies is for the pouch drink, and the sweet tea, which is a regional favorite, would be the equivalent of having a brownie. So the demonstration is to show that most parents would not let their child eat all this in a single day, but may not realize pretty much that's what they're doing when they're drinking things other which than Which one shocks water. you the most, Amy? I would say, I would say probably the juice, the juice yeah, box. I think that one too, and the lemonade for me because you do, a lot of times, we've done it in our household, right. you give your kids the lemonade instead of a soda, which my kids don't so drink do soda, we. Right. and you think you're doing something better, but that's not the case. Yeah, so I just share with families, hopefully next time they're at the store, they look at how many grams of sugar on the label. Every four grams is the same as one added teaspoon. So if you just pay attention to that, you kind of have a sense of how much sugar is in what you're buying and drinking. You know, one of the things that parents have a big challenge with is trying to get their kids to like water, to yeah. enjoy water. What advice do you give to try to get them to drink more water? You know, one of the things I suggest is um, maybe making water fancy oh, because, wow, you know, pretty. the goal is to make kids enjoy plain water the way we're all used to. Right. But if you cut up fresh fruit and put it in water, I guess that makes it Kind of pretty, and frankly, as an adult, that seems more appealing sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It makes you want to drink some. But are all sugars the same? Because obviously, fruit is going to have some element of sugar. How do you balance the difference between a good sugar and a bad sugar? Yeah, that's a great question. So all of us consume sugar through natural foods. I think our message is to help families eliminate what we call visible sugar. It's labeled. It's added. It's not part of our natural diet. And if you can eliminate that, then you can enjoy your indulgence of desserts and things you right. like. But this is pretty significant. Children are getting diabetes younger and younger now. And there's no question that diet plays a role. How much sugar is OK in a diet? What would you consider normal or average? No, that's a tough question. And there are currently no clear, clear guidelines. Mm -hmm. 
I've just learned through conversations with parents every single day that our children as young as preschool may be having 100 to 200 grams a day. Wow. Divide that by four, and that is many, many cupfuls of sugar and just from the beverages. So I really try to encourage at least cut that part out. How much was that one again on the end? 17 teaspoons. So kids are getting five cups or more. Um, of that, yeah, close I mean, 70, to. If it's that's a hundred, so or even more than that, wow, yeah, that's a lot. It's scary. And sadly, as an adult, that looks great for my breakfast right I know, there. So we, we have to do better. Bottom that's line. It. Well, thank you so much again. She's the author of A Healthier Way, Dr. Julie Way. Such a pleasure. Really informative. Thanks for having so much. I get thank it you. now. That's that's good. I like it. All right.